Helga Gross recorded this interview with the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in 2003. Thank you for listening to that episode of Witness History. Mick Jagger sat down with us for a rare interview, and while we were taping the interview, I was keenly aware that down the hall in another room was Keith Richards. So we talked a little bit about how they're getting along now, how they wrote some of their best songs, and how you stay together after 60 years. That's coming up on Q from CBC. Tonight at 10 on 93.9 FM WNYC. This is WNYC. Showers and storms are moving into the area overnight. We can expect a low around 65. Those showers continue today with a high around 71 degrees, but by tomorrow the skies will clear and we'll see sunshine with a high of 77. This is WNYC, FM, HD, and AM New York. Good morning. The United Auto Workers strike continued through the weekend. The two sides are talking without much progress made so far. We'll hear how it's going from a picket line in Wayne, Michigan. It's Morning Edition from NPR News. For more than three years, no one had to pay their federal student loans. I'm Leila Faldin. And I'm A. Martinez. Interest started accruing this month and payments are due again in October, but some borrowers are seeing their debts eliminated. We'll tell you why. Also, how in Libya, old infrastructure and a civil war have combined to make flooding from a storm deadly. It's Monday, September 18th. Today, in 1837, Tiffany and Company was founded. And in 1947, the Central Intelligence Agency was established. News is next. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Dave Mattingly. Thousands of climate activists marched in New York.